Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. I am here with Susie Anderson of Johnny Selected Seeds in Albion, Maine. And this is the telltale damage of? The tomato hornworm. And, and actually, the, it's tobacco hornworm to be exact. And this is the reality of growing. And anybody that grows knows you have insects, you have problems with water sometimes. Sometimes it's the weather, right? And we found one of these guys. I'm, I'm going to grab him here. This is a, this is a big... This, this could be kind of scary. Oh, if anybody comes upon one of these, it's quite alarming, even if you've seen them multiple times. Yeah, this guy looks like he's going to bite you. And what you think is his head is actually the backside. Yes. And the head is actually the other side. Mm -hmm. And tell me some of the signs to look for, because homeowners really can go around their tomato plants and look for a couple of signs. We saw some leaf damage, so tell me about the things you'd look for. Well, the first thing a homeowner's probably going to notice is uh, the manure on the ground uh, from foliar feeding. And then you look up from finding the manure and you'll see foliage damage and uh, you'll see fruit damage as well. And it's very difficult, but you can find and locate and remove the pests. And then, unfortunately, you must do away with We him. must kind of do away with him. We have to do <laughs> yes. away with this little guy. Although you said you gave some of these to your... Yes, my daughter's daycare has uh, four of these pupating in an aquarium. And uh, they'll put them outside and they'll pupate and become the hummingbird, hummingbird moth. moth. Which I love, you know, you're outside and I love looking at the hummingbird moths. But I'm like, nah, I don't like you guys flying around. I know what you're going to lay and what ends up happening. Yep. So... Tomato hornworm, a very large insect, certainly does damage part of growing tomatoes. Pick them up, remove them, yep. or other products that maybe get rid of them? Yes, um, it's a caterpillar, so you can actually spray um, any BT product. We have one called Dipel, but um, it's Bacillus thuringiensis will take care of that. There's also a parasitic wasp that lays eggs, and you can purchase those um, through any beneficial insect company that will lay eggs. and take Kill care that. of them. Yes. And, and these also are organic ways of controlling the moth. Exactly. And by the way, if you find one of these moths and it has little kind of white things on it, that's actually the parasitic exactly. wasp that's laid the eggs in this guy and is feeding on him. And that also helps to get rid of him. Leave yeah. it alone. He'll be gone. Yep. So this guy's crawling all over me. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps at growingwisdom.com.